Hey Dungebags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and it is time for my review of the third studio album from Odessa. This one is called A Moment Apart. And before I get into today's review, I'm actually giving away two uh, perfectly legal digital copies of this album. Each physical copy of A Moment Apart comes with a download card to get a free digital copy, and uh, uh, myself and my sister both got CD versions of this album, and neither of us really needed a digital download because we both subscribe to Apple Music, so I figured what a better way to do it than to give away a couple of them on this album review. I'm going to have those download codes written down in the description below and basically all you have to do is submit one of those codes at ninjatune.net slash vinyl downloads and you get your free download of the album. There's only two of them though and it's first come first serve so if you don't have a streaming platform and you really want this album I definitely suggest you grab one of those as soon as you can. And without further ado let's get into my review of this album. Now Odessa is an indie tronica duo comprised of the beat makers Beaches Beaches and Catacomb Kid. Widely known for bringing Seattle's more indie rock side to a much more wide appealing electronic dance music market with their sophomore album In Return in 2014. An album that included the absolute mega hit Say My Name featuring Zyra, which I, like a lot of people, found Odessa through. My experience with Odessa obviously hasn't been any longer than three years, and regretfully I haven't really dug into Odessa's discography until more recently surrounding the release of this album. However, However, I think that because I had only heard such a limited bit of their discography, probably limited to just Say My Name and Sun Models, I kind of had this presumption that Odessa was better known for having remixes uh, that were better than their originals. For example, on their remix of Something About You by Hayden James, they were able to take that song and completely flip it on its head, kind of drawing back into their signature style, uh, which I thought was uber cool. Uh, they did that as well with their remix of Porter Robinson's Divinity, which was featured on that World's Remix album. I kind of assume that's just how it was in all cases, and because of that, I didn't really expect Odessa to blow my mind with this album. And while, no, I won't say that Odessa completely blew my mind with this album, I will say I was very pleasantly surprised. I think one really important thing to take note of when it comes to A Moment Apart is that Odessa really hasn't had a sonic change in sound since their debut album, Summer's Gone, in 2012. Their music has always generally been pretty melodic, backed up by these chill wave beats, these really atmospheric synthesizers, and really uh, reverbious vocal chops. With those kind of high-pitched glitzy arpeggiators floating over the top, when you look at what Odessa was doing in their early music as compared to A Moment Apart, really nothing is drastically that different other than the fact that I think they've gotten a lot better at what they do. The songs definitely have a lot more depth to them, featuring much more lush and organic instrumentation, uh, notably from the use of electric guitars and organs, and a lot more guest features. One really cool thing though when it comes to the guests of this album is that despite their absolutely massive popularity, Odessa didn't feel the need to recruit a bunch of pop stars and well-known singers uh, on this album. In fact, I think the only even remotely well-known vocalist they decided to feature is Regina Spector, and I definitely wouldn't really call her mainstream. Another important thing to take note of when it comes to A Moment Apart is kind of calling back to what I was saying earlier about Odessa's sound really not radically changing. I'd much rather have them stick to what they're what they're better at, what they're used to, and kind of improving that than just doing the generic future bass music that everyone else is doing right now. And they could have very easily done that and probably gotten away with it too, considering they're one of the better known names in the future bass scene. Strangely enough though, the fourth track on this album, Boy, sounds like it could have fit very snug on that skin album, or maybe even in some of Flume's back end discography. And I don't really know what purpose it serves in the context of this album other than to sharply sharply contrast the kind of chain smokers -y style of future bass we see on the very next track line of sight. Now when this song dropped as a single earlier this summer my very first impression was wow Odessa is trying to rip off the chain smokers uh, but kind of digging deeper into this album I can see that they probably had a different kind of purpose behind including it. If you go ahead and take a look into some of the chain smokers more indie leaning discography you can definitely see how they've been drawing inspiration from acts like Odessa and now with this album, Odessa has kind of taken the sound from songs like Roses and said, no, this is how you do it. It's got so much more depth, so much more soul, the vocals are soaring higher than basically anything the Chainsmokers have put out to date. Another thing that made A Moment Apart a really enjoyable experience for me is that there are these little tidbits scattered throughout the songs that kind of remind me of other albums that had significant impacts on me. Like I already mentioned, Boy reminds me a lot of Flume. The title track, A Moment Apart, has a little piano lick in it that kind of reminds me of a bit of the content on John Hopkins' Immunity album. The guitar and the beat in Late Night remind 
reminds me a lot of Autumn Blossom from Pierce Fulton's Better Places album. The intro to Across the Room, especially with its vocals, sound like it could have fit very snug on Yo Mace's Life in Boxes album, which by the way is still my favorite album of 2017. The pretty and nostalgic feel of Corners of the Earth reminds me a lot of Sea of Voices by Porter Robinson, especially with its halftime drop. And the song with Suedad has a very dark and spacey feel to it, like it could have come out of Hans Zimmer's Interstellar soundtrack. And while it would be very easy to take all these references and say, oh, Odessa's sound is nothing that unique, this album isn't that special, I think in most of these cases, it's more likely that these artists have been influenced by Odessa and not the other way around. With all that being said, at 16 tracks long, I do think this album does overstay its welcome just a little bit. This album, at least to me, would be a lot more enjoyable of a listen had it been condensed down a little bit, so chances are I'm probably going to come back to a select few tracks on this album. But then again, this isn't the kind of album that you can just pick up and jam to anytime you want. You have to be very kind of relaxed and in the right mindset to listen to this thing. And I'm not saying this album is so boring that it's going to put you to sleep or anything like that, but you can't put this on expecting a dance album. It's even less of a dance album than In Return was, and that's saying a lot. All that being said, this album was definitely a very good listen, and I would highly recommend it. I personally commend Odessa for really sticking to their guns and staying with their style on this album, uh, as well as making an entire song completely in Spanish, um, and the intro to this album is just absolutely amazing. Don't miss out on that. For a moment apart, I am feeling a strong 7.5 to a light 8 out of 10. As always, I have the Spotify link down in the description for you guys to check it out if you haven't yet, and if you have listened to it, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As always, I'm Landon Remixes. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Oh, wow, 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 wow.